It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. No one thinks about their old hot water heater until they run out of hot water. Oh, no. Or until it starts leaking. Oh, no. If your tank water heater is over eight years old, a leak could cost you a lot more than higher energy bills. Consider upgrading to a Navian tankless water heater. No tank to heat or leak. And endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. Navian turns... Oh, no. ...into... Oh, yes. Visit tanklessmadesimple.com. You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. Happy Friday. I am Daniel. So glad you did that. I am Clint and we are back for another episode of Locked On Bulldogs here on Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And we're ramping up for the season. How do we know we're ramping up? Well, SEC Media Days. Big it's the official indication. kickoff. Official kick. A fall camp is oh. fall camp is a mere days away. A oh, number of days goodness. away now. Do you we know how are... many? Do you know how much lunacy is about to be typed? Do you know how many reports people have been sitting on, waiting oh, to boy. just unleash on the Twitter sphere? It's gonna be crazy. We are inside of forty days now okay. to this thing. Okay. You understand what I'm saying, oh, Clint? My gosh. We are. Do you do you know a month is is next week? Next week begins the month of August. Oh my god. Which is when college football starts. Okay now. Let's all let's do this thing. Okay. We hey, uh he is Daniel, I am Clint. We are fans, if you didn't figure that out, by our absolute schoolboy crush on the month of August <laughs> and September. And I don't care. Uh, we talk like fans talk, not like gurus or insiders, because we're not. And thank God that's the case. Because if we were, I'd hate myself. Um but we're fans. Daniel, that's all we talk about. That's right. Here. Georgia fans, first and foremost, podcast is for fans, by fans. Um, don't take yourself too seriously if you listen to this podcast. Mm. Don't expect us to do the same. Uh, and we'll all have a good time. We're here to talk the way that you talk about the team that we love, the team that you love. That is the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, uh, there's lots to talk about as related to this team. Not going to lie, content's been a little sparse. On the podcast, this uh, okay, okay, we get it, we, we know, we and we, we know that you we, know, we know that you know that we know. That's but right. Listen, we all out here, we all still here, okay. Um, I think we've gained listeners this off season. I don't, look, I don't know. Look, the podcast is growing even in the off season. It's unbelievable. I think, I think Daniel and I reached a point where we just said essentially, like, hey. What do you think we could do to drive people away? And all y'all are like sick, and you're like, oh, really? Just twisted. <laughs> just sick and twisted. You won't leave. That's, that's basically what it amounts to. This has now become a game for us. So how can we get? No, we do appreciate each and every one of you listening. Tell a friend about the show as we get ready to start the season. I know you know a Georgia fan who needs a good podcast. Who you, listen? You listen to all the X's and O's, the recruiting insiders, and the people who are interviewing the sixteen-year-olds about where they want to go to college. All that—that's fine. You can listen to those podcasts too. This is a show for your friends who want to just have a good time and listen to people talk about football uh, and occasionally basketball. And so we appreciate you subscribe to the pod if you haven't done so already that helps the 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 bots count all the people that listen to the show and that Mm. is that's good for us when they do that and then leave us a five-star rating and review if you want on apple Podcasts. we appreciate everyone who has done that um so thank you to all of you there are a bunch of you i know we don't read or mention every single review that we get but we do appreciate them all and so thank you to all of you who have left us one and then as always as we get close to the season especially things that you want to hear us talk about this or that segment ideas all the things uh, send us an email lockdownbulldogs at gmail.com hit us up on twitter at dogs podcast uh some of y'all Long-time contributors, long-time executive producers of the show we haven't heard from in a mm-hmm. while. So it's get back on the horse. Let us know what your this or that ideas are, what your segment ideas are. You know who you are. We're looking at you. So uh, all that is coming up in, the, in, in weeks to come. But for today, Clint, we got more coaches to talk about next week uh, that took the podium at SEC Media Day yesterday. Obviously, 
um, Eli Drinkovitz, and uh, I can't even remember who. Who, who was it that went? Uh, Sam oh, yeah. Pittman and Brian Harson all took the podium yesterday. Oh, yeah, but yeah. today we focus on Georgia. Clint, finally, mm-hmm. we just give me, give me all the – I said this to you in pre-production, Clint. Yeah. But if you could just – science doesn't know how to do this yet. Not, but not yet. If you could just take JT Daniels and Jordan Davis mm-hmm. – and you could just somehow concentrate them down into liquid form. And then you could put that liquid into a syringe, into an IV bag, no, nay. And then you could just intravenously drip that liquid into my veins. Mm-hmm. I believe I could survive seven weeks with no food or water. Just, just with that... Just with JT Daniels and Jordan Davis injected into my... Listen, I was gonna these say, men were exactly what I needed. Exactly yeah. what I needed. Look, they came but, in, and from the drop of this, from the moment they stepped in there, not only did they exude everything we know them to be, right? So you want to... By the way, find me a more likable Georgia player than Jordan Davis. Nope. Oh, search is Nope. Hard. Look, we have our favorites, and we're not saying our favorites are the best players at Georgia mm-hmm. ever. But Jordan he blocked Davis, every kick. He blocked every he kick blocked that year. Every right? k- boss baby I don't know if you know that, that but it's tough to do. He blocked every kick that year, and I'm not talking about Jordan Davis. Maybe Jordan Davis will do it this year. Who knows? Uh, who, but who na- knows? to your point, nary a player more likable and than Jordan that's who Davis. it was. Uh, JT got up on the podium and got up there, and he confirmed everything that we understood. First of all, this guy got drip for days, so uh-huh. holy Jesus. Listen, that mustache, don't let that mustache fool you, okay? Don't let the old pirate pirate act fool you. He, this man doing all right. Oh, he's, he's fine. doing just fine. Okay. Just he's fine. Doing, <laughs> he's doing the name, image, and likeness. He's going to be fine, okay? Um, he's going to be fine. But he confirmed also that this man eats drinks, sleeps, football. He computes through an algorithm in his brain just at this rapid succession of all things. He's, he's like a sentinel, kind of like, like in the Matrix. Mm. Daniel, he's just mm-hmm. taking all the things in, looking around, ready to pounce. Um, could not have been better to hear from these two gentlemen. And then Kirby, I mean, oh, oh my you know, gosh. Kirby going Kirby. You know, you know. You know, what, you, you know what you're going to get from Kirby. Um, all right, let's... Let's come back. Let's talk about. Uh, let's maybe start with Kirby, and then we'll get into yep. JT and Jordan Davis. Um, uh, we'll jump into the things they said that that stood out to us, that interested us the most, and then maybe talk a little bit about what we expect from uh, each of those guys or the units as it relates to what they talked about a little bit this season. First. Let us tell you about the fine folks over at Built Bar. Built Bar is the tastiest protein bar on planet Earth. It comes in a wide variety of flavors. They are soft. They are chewy. They are delicious. They're the protein bar that tastes like a candy bar. That's right. They're high in protein, high in fiber, low in sugar. They're keto approved. They're great pre, post, workout, whatever you want, whenever you want. Built Bar is the protein bar for you because it doesn't taste like uh, a piece of cardboard. It doesn't taste like a, a bunch of pebbles that have been glued together with wet sand. It is uh, the protein bar that literally tastes like a candy bar. Go to BuiltBar.com right now, enter the promo code LOCKEDON15, and you're going to get 15% off your order. That's a mixed box. That's a single flavor box. That's multiple single flavor boxes. Whatever you want to do at BuiltBar.com, enter the promo code LOCKEDON15 for 15% off your order at BuiltBar.com. No one thinks about their old hot water heater until they run out of hot water. Oh, no. Or until it starts leaking. Oh, no. If your tank water heater is over eight years old, a leak could cost you a lot more than higher energy bills. Consider upgrading to a Navian tankless water heater. No tank to heat or leak. And endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. Navian turns... Oh, no. ...into... Oh, yes. Visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Help on the wheel. All right, Clint. Let's start with let's start with Kirby. Mm-hmm. What stood out to you from? Because honestly, I think I took more away from these two players than I did from Kirby. I was going to say that's Kirby. why I want to start with Kirby. What stood out to you from Kirby, though? Uh, Kirby's the same as he has been. 
<clears throat> he no, has he, changed. He, he has changed nary a single. Maybe maybe from year one to two, there was a little bit of modification to Kirby we saw, um, but in year six, uh, he is who he is. Okay, and he's a well-oiled machine at this right now. It, it's fantastic. I heard him. I heard him actually give compliments and kudos to the appropriate people. I heard him use coach speak that wasn't overused and dull um, because he is a coach and that's what he talks about all the time. I heard him give shout outs to players. I, it, it was just everything that I wanted him to be. And if I could, if I could say this again, Georgia fan and, and don't come at me with Kirby hasn't won the big one and we need to fire him. He's, he's Rick 2.0, which by the way, coach Rick, Love you, brother. Uh, yeah. Don't at me with that. I will I will fight you. All the fury of the Vanderbilt old men will come mm-hmm. raging out into my fists on you. Uh, he's everything that we want to be. It was standard par for the course for Kirby. Yeah, I, it's just confidence. You have confidence in Kirby when he's up there. You're not annoyed with him? Okay. No. Listen, um, Tom Crane takes the podium. And you just you're sort of annoyed. You believe that he still maybe could get it done, but you're just annoyed. You're annoyed listening to him give you the coach speak and give you the and Tom Crean's not he's dissimilar in many ways to Kirby Smart, but he's not all that dissimilar to Kirby Smart. But when Kirby's up there, you you just have confidence that he is the guy to get things done. That's honestly it wasn't necessarily something he said, but all the people, you know, all the reporters are asking the same questions to all these coaches. They're all asking I just, for some of y'all, y'all listen to SEC Media Days all stinking day, and I don't know how you do it because it's just the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Good Lord, whoever you are, radio host from Birmingham, Alabama, stop. Just stop. Please. How do you sleep at night? Just stop. Can't help it. Okay. But one of the questions that gets asked over and over again is, things are going back to normal this year. What's the... How, how valuable is that spring practice? We got a spring practice. We got all the off-season meetings. We got all the things that we lost last year. And you begin to think, Clint. Uh-huh. The better your coach is. Okay, hear me out. Okay, this is not the, where are we going. The the better your coach is. Okay. The more missing out on those things is going to hurt you. Hmm. Okay. You understand? Because those off-season meetings, those spring practices, there's actually work being done at UGA. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I know there's other factors at play, and this might be oversimplified, but what team had a great, had a great season by their standards last year in the SEC East? What team went out and, now it was 8-4, and four, but by their standards, admittedly, it was a great season. Dan Mullen said, Glenn, it's going to be tough to replicate the success we had last season, meaning he doesn't know if they can go 8-4. and four. Uh, Just let that sink in. Just, uh, have, you, have you marinated that enough, Gator fan? I, boo, that's not great. So, Florida has a, a great season last year in the midst of, all coaches missing time with their yep. players. Well, that doesn't really impact things all that much at Florida. But Georgia didn't have as much continuity, didn't have as many things come together. I, I really, you know, it wasn't anything he said, but just, and, and you could call it dumb confidence if you want, uh, whatever. Sure. I really believe that that means something. Not just JT Daniels coming back, not just Todd Munkin coming back, no. but all the meetings, they mean something at Georgia. All the practices, they mean something at Georgia. All the reps, all the film study, all of the seven-on-sevens and one-on-ones and extra time and all of that stuff, Kirby makes it mean something. He oh, is yes, The sir. devil is in the details with this man. He is as absolutely laser-focused on every moment of every day as you could possibly be. He's not, dress, he's not picking out Star Wars costumes to wear during, during the minutes of his day. Okay, he's he's focusing on how to coach a football team to success. Mm -hmm. That's what I came away from this being reminded of and giving me a tremendous amount of confidence in. Yeah, absolutely. Kirby is that person. Uh, We're going to come back to this. Talk about the two biggest players UGA has success. If we are to have success, we'll be on these two gentlemen's shoulders after these messages. 
This episode is brought to you by Exxon and Mobile's Synergy Supreme Plus. Snacks, smartphone, kids, and dog. Got them all. You're packed and ready for your first road trip in a very long time. But wait, now you gotta fill the car. So why not check out the Exxon or Mobile station down the street, where you can fill up with their best fuel ever, Synergy Supreme Plus. It's premium fuel that keeps your engine two times cleaner for better gas mileage. And that's a whole lot cleaner than your backseat will be after a trip with two kids and a dog. Go Synergy Supreme Plus. It's premium. It's supremium. Fill up today at your closest Exxon or Mobile station. Synergy Supreme Plus gas compared to Synergy regular gas in port fuel injected engines. Benefits based on continuous use and may vary. Go to exxon.com for details. This episode is brought to you by Comcast. In the last 10 years, Comcast's Internet Essentials program has connected more than 10 million Americans to low-cost broadband internet at home. Now, Comcast is committing $1 billion over the next 10 years to reach 50 million low-income Americans with the tools and resources they need to succeed in a digital world. Learn more at comcast.com slash education. Okay, Daniel. Uh, yep. Jordan Davis got on the microphone, and he said, uh, love okay. me because I love all things except mm-hmm. when I get on the defensive line and put my hand down, and then fear me because I am the eater of worlds. That's right. Okay. He said, quote, I think I'm pretty good at stopping the run. <laughs> okay. okay. He also oh, went man. on to then pontificate about, somebody asked him, uh, what do you think, um, what, what do you think your job, how good of a job do you think you did, like when you get grades, and what's a successful day? Mm. And in mm. summary, this was he the quote right this. here. This was the quote right here. He said this in summary, not how many sacks, how many tackles. Yada, yada. He said, "Well, I just look at the linebackers. If the linebackers mm. are having a good game, I've done mm. my job." And I said, mm. "Oh, Jordan Davis, thank oh, you, boy, thank you." What I wanted him to say that he didn't say, but that everybody knew who was smart. Maybe not the person who asked him that question, but no, was that. Um, NFL scouts ain't reading that box score. No, you understand? They ain't looking at how many TFLs he had. You understand? No. They not do not care. They do not care how many tackles he had. Not at all. No. They are watching the tape. They are uh-huh. watching the moves. They are watching the versatility, the physicality. Uh, they're watching the lateral quickness. They're seeing all of it, and Jordan Davis knows he's going to be just fine without any of them stats. Um, I'll tell you what I liked that Jordan Davis had to say. He was he got asked a question about, we're playing Clemson, mm. is Darion Kendrick helping you steal plays? Was, that's not the, that wasn't the question, but, but that was the gist of the question. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's the... That's that's media member 101 right there. Okay? I don't understand. Do you are you allowed to think of your questions beforehand? This is the was what I want to know. Are you allowed to have like months in advance to prep these to come in with some as ready a, to go? As a self-proclaimed non-member of the media. Mm, okay. Amen. amen. Okay. I wonder, are you allowed to think before you get in the room or do you just have to open your mouth and say the first thing that puddles out of it? Like is that is that the rule? Okay, so we were asked about Darion Kendrick helping us steal plays, and Jordan Davis obviously just immediately said, okay, well, let me talk about something real, uh, football-related. And he said, quote, DK uh, feels like he's been with us for a year and some change. He's Mm. just acclimated. He's all in in the program. He's just, Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like he essentially, you understand, if it feels like he's been there a year and some change, what he's saying is it feels like, uh, I don't know, uh, Eric Stokes, Tyson Campbell, like those guys, those guys kind of basically never left because we just, this is the same, this is the guy, we just plugged him in, and then immediately says him and Ty Key have fit right into the program. Just didn't, not even asked about Ty Key Smith, but he said, I'm going to get this guy's name in here. Here we go. I need to talk about this guy. Here we go. Um, Kirby, by the way, on the secondary, when he was when he was talking at one point, he he mentioned when 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 he was asked about the secondary depth, he said, "Well, depth is a struggle." And then he said, first thing out of his mouth, "We got two guys out of the portal that we think are really going to be able to help us." Okay, you know who those two guys are? 
Yes, uh, Brandon Turnage, have fun in Tennessee. We see you, brother. We we never knew ye. Okay, and then he said, and there's some really talented guys who are not proven. Now look, it. Tell me what you think about this, Clint. Okay. I think the more I listen to people talk about the secondary, specifically Kirby Smart, I think the more I start to think he already knows who the guys are in the secondary. Like, there's – we have a sort of a bigger pool that we're going like, is it going to be Jalen Kimber? Is it going to be Amir Speed? Is it going to be Keely Ringo? Is it going to be uh, Nylon Green? Is it going to be, you know, what – what? I think, I think Kirby already knows who the guys are. I think he's nervous because there's only five or six five. of them. Yeah, there may be six, <laughs> but but I think he already knows who they are. Which is going to be interesting when we get into fall camp. I wonder mm. how quickly it's going to become obvious who those guys are. You know, once this we is, start to see them on the field. This would be interesting. We pontificated that it was going to be like hockey line change back there. We were going to switch in safeties and whatnot. I, I yeah. rewatched the game against Cincy, um, Daniel. Latavius Brini showed out in that game. Like he, We liked him a lot. Oh, my gosh. He showed out. It, it's going to be wild. Fall camp is going to be wild. We knew at that position it was going to be. Um, but then JT Daniels got up on the podium. JT Daniels. Oh, my I mean, goodness. Okay. First of all, this is, this is the impression. Uh, surgical. Daniel, he, he, he's a surgeon in his brain as it pertains to play calling and offenses. Him and Todd Munkin, when he, he said something along the lines of, uh, Todd and I, we're an extension of one another. What he's mm. thinking and what I'm thinking of the offense, we're on the, <laughs> we're, we're on the same page, what we want to see happen with that. And I thought to myself, this, this is it. Guys, this is what we've been dying for. For years. Now listen, normally, okay, normally you have two kinds of quarterbacks, yeah. okay? Can I, can I dumb it down to a level that's not fair, but that will make it very obvious? You have two kinds of quarterbacks. You got your Matt Staffords, and you got your Jake Fromms. There you go. Those are your two quarterbacks. Am I wrong? No, no, no. You, I mean, you, you, and then I guess you've got your... You got your uh, Lamar Jacksons or whatever, sure, sure, you know, who are sure. just like a totally different breed of person. Yes. Right. So yes. you got your two quarterbacks. You got your big, strong arm, gunslinger, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. rip it and rip it. And then you got your game manager, methodical, IQ, study the play, and technician, surgeon. Tech- yes. Now, the elite quarterbacks, we know, the Hall of Famers, the ones that are the all-timers, they can do it both. Correct. Okay. But normally, Clint, if you were to just listen to JT Daniels, you've never seen him play football before. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, if you were to just listen to the words he said, which of those two quarterbacks, the game manager or the gunslinger, would you think JT Daniels was if you just listened to his quotes from from this media day? Uh, you would assume that him and Jake Fromm shared their Lunchable together. Just best, best buds. You would assume that this is a that this is a um, a game manager of ga- game manager. He's a Grayson Lambert protege. Yeah, no, <laughs> essentially, oh who this guy is. Gosh. Um, Clint, is that accurate? No, is that sir. who this guy? Is no, that who this sir. guy is? See what Did makes. You, what makes the great ones great ones is exactly what JT is able to do. He's able to surgically go down. He has the arm, but he doesn't force it. He has the arm, but he doesn't only That's have right. one read. He has the mm. cannon to mm. make a deep ball throw, but he'll take a couple check downs to Kenny McIntosh to set us up for a game-winning field goal because he knows that's a better play. He's smart and lethal. He's surgical and skilled. Um, it's Daniel, and he, he showed that off mentally to everybody, and even demeanor. Like, I know this gets talked about a lot. I know that it fact, whatever. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you come across a guy who's this collected and thoughtful, Daniel. Yes, It correct. translates. It does, and it translates to that mental side of the game, to being that distributor, that game manager, that get you in the right play type of guy. But the, the issue is normally when you see that guy, he's got a noodle arm. Yeah. 
Right. right. Normally, right. when you see that guy, there's a reason he's that guy. You know the guy that like is really funny but never gets dates. He he has to be <laughs> funny because he girls won't talk to him. Got to be funny. By looking at him, got to okay. be funny. Uh, all right. JT. Now, JT's not. He's not that. He's not that guy. He can make all the throws, but I love mm-hmm. that his focus mm-hmm. is. There's a million playmakers on this team. The only thing that matters mm-hmm. is that I get them the the ball in the right spot at the right time. Because mm. if I do that, we go. Mm. That's what he said. He said, "Good night. We will see y'all at the natty." Because. Ain't nobody going to tackle these men. Mm-mm. You understand? Just Don Blaylock, Kyrus Jackson, James Cook, uh, J- uh, uh, Jermaine Burton, mm. Arian Smith, mm. Washington, Come Gilbert. On. Oh, my gosh. We just, there's not, there's plenty of playmakers. There's plenty of weapons, and JT knows that. The difference is, is that if JT has to go and laser one into a window, have we seen him do it, Clint? Um, yep. Have we seen him put one 40 yards through the air, Clint, mm. and drop it into a basket? Mm. Have we seen that, Clint? Yes, sir. We, mm. We've seen it. You Can't give him wait. some mobility. That's what Kirby Smart said about him. Yeah. He said, look, the improvement of JT Daniels is not mentally – it's physically. Oh he's, my gosh. He's, okay. he's healthier now, is what Kirby said, Clint. So, so hold on. Let me, let me get this straight. Yep. Go let ahead. Me, let me go ahead. Connect those dots. Connect those dots. So last year, he, okay. he took care of the football, didn't turn it over. Go on. Threw touchdowns and yards and led us to four straight wins when he started and had a completion percentage up to mm-hmm. the top of the league. Uh-huh. And he... And he wasn't physically where he is today. So, Not right. So he wasn't men- right. He wasn't right. So mentally, all of that is still there. Okay? The same sure. offense, the better, more meetings, more practices, more reps, and more weapons. on top of that. More, more, more weapons. Okay. okay. And now you're telling me his coach now. is saying he has improved in the physical aspect of the game, which I don't know much about football, but I know this. It's pretty uh-huh. physical. All I know when there's a defensive end crashing down off the edge at you, uh, sometimes it's good to get away from him. Okay. Okay. I know that when you want to drive the ball down the field, sometimes it's good to have two healthy knees okay. to do that yes. with. So uh, yes. that's JT. Okay. The train has left. a lot of things. I, I, feel, I, have, oh, I am, I am on things. fire. Uh, I am thirsty. Give me the bucket, which is the natty. That is where I'm headed to douse this fire. Good Wee. golly, y'all. Uh, hey, come back next week. We'll be talking about more SEC Media Day takeaways from other coaches, other places that we've seen, as well as a whole host of other things. Uh, Texas. We Oklahoma. may just talk about JT Daniels all week next week. Just full Look, disclosure. I, I didn't want to say, if you're still listening to the podcast, two, a couple years ago, I said that I wouldn't mind Jake Fromm marrying my daughter. Um, I, I don't say the same thing about JT because, like. <laughs> No. Okay, but but that man is a stone cold killer, and I want yep. him on my team. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is yep. my quarterback. My goodness. Uh, come back next week. We'll be talking about all things UGA football because the off season is officially over. We're going to camp. We will see you guys then. See ya. No one thinks about their old hot water heater until they run out of hot water. Oh, no. Or until it starts leaking. Oh, no! If your tank water heater is over 8 years old, a leak could cost you a lot more than higher energy bills. Consider upgrading to a Navian tankless water heater. No tank to heat or leak. And endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. Navian turns... Oh, no. ...into... Oh, yes. Visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Help on the way. This episode is brought to you by Spotify Greenroom. Have you ever listened to a podcast like this one and you wanted to bring up your own point or just chat with other people that are listening at the same time? Well, let me tell you about Spotify Greenroom. This is the first social audio platform made just for sports fans. The app is free to download, and once you're in, you can talk with us, other fans, athletes, insiders in real time about your favorite sport or team. Download the app, currently available on iOS devices, create a profile, link your Twitter, join one of the groups for the latest league updates, and then you'll see us there. Spotify Greenroom, changing the way we talk sports.